Create a no-brainer offer, right? To begin with, what I did at the very start, I became that person, that guy, and it was the landing page guy. Uh, there was nobody else that I had seen had that, right? So I'll take the credit for inventing that. <laughs> but at the very start, it was it was Logan and me, really. Uh, and his was Logan landing pages. And I just did Mike, the landing page guy. Uh, I, I needed something that made people feel, oh, he's the guy. He's that guy for X, whatever it may be, you know. Uh, that it doesn't matter what you do. If you specify, let, let's say, Jay, for example, you know, he has Webflow in his name. I think that's a really good, strong point uh, that will help you quite a lot. Um, and Molly is the marketing nerd. I think she might be changing that. Uh, Gavin currently is uh, CRMs, automations, stuff like that. So, there's different things where you can take the approach and re in reality, there's not going to be a whole pile of people that are going to do the same thing as you or be an expert in the same thing as you. Um, so be the go-to person when a business owner looks up, say Webflow landing page, uh, like chances are Jay's going to come up, you know, um, for landing, if we look up landing pages, we're all going to go come up. Well, a few of us. Uh, I mean, content creator, uh, thumbnails, so on. There's there's different things, and for that's going to come up. I think having a keyword like a buzzword in your name is super super important. Um, so example of a guarantee, right? I will generate at least ten leads in ten days, or your money back. I'm gonna give a couple examples, then I'm gonna explain it in detail, right? Uh, so I will edit three YouTube videos in two days. And if one doesn't get at least double the watch time of any video you've ever released, then you get you get your money back. I saw one before and it was something like if you don't get X amount of leads in X amount of days, then we'll give you your money back and take you out for a dinner at your favorite restaurant something like that i thought that was cool i like that i think that actually creates um curiosity and it's like damn that i mean this is cool let's look more right it's an interesting twist it's different that's a way to differentiate yourself as well from the competition that could be offering a similar offer right um so some ideas i will write a landing page that converts at least 30 percent of your cold traffic in two days or your money back, right? So this, for example, you're going to know, well, it depends on how many clicks you get, right? But two days is probably too short, realistically. You need a good test sample, uh, sample size. Um, for example, uh, I had a quick call with Osh yesterday and he, had, he was having concerns about a, a client and he said, and his, he was split testing, right? And his sample size was like 14,000. I was like, okay, that's enough, right? So once you've that at least a few hundred, you get a good idea of what your conversion rate will be um, and so on. And if, say, if you're doing like Federico doing thumbnails and YouTube content, you'll, you'll get a good idea for how many clicks, the click rate, so on. Um, okay, so there's four parts to each of these and just to break them down. The first part is the promise I will do. I will generate. What are you promising to do? What are you promising to do in all these? It's 10 leads in 10 days. It's three YouTube videos in two days. It's convert 30% of your traffic, right? That's the first part promise results, at least 10 leads or two X conversion rate, double your revenue whatever the deliverable is. And again, that's very similar to similar in two days, in two days, in 10 days, right? Um, the next part is the time or deadline. And that's again, in two days, two days, two days. But these are all, so there's different parts. There's four different parts, but they all kind of combine into each other, uh, right? 
So this is a big part. How fast or slow can you get this result? I genuinely don't think it needs to be super quick. And this is something I say as well. If you're if a project will take you two days to do, tell the client it'll take you two weeks, three weeks. Especially when you're charging them a lot of money. Because if I charge you ten grand, ten thousand dollars, and I'm gonna have that project done in a day, I'm like, what? My my money, ten grand is only gonna get one day's work. But if I say that's for two years, I divide it up. Oh, it's only a couple of bucks a day, right? And he's constantly working, right? So there's that point of view you have to look at as well. Now, obviously, you can go too extreme. But say with even even with my coaching offer, right? It's a year, so that's a good thing. The more time you get, the better, uh, because we've more time together. But when it's someone say that needs a, a YouTube thumbnail for a video, a new video that has to come out in like two, three days. Yeah, I think maybe, you know, doing that in a couple of days, having your guarantee in a couple of days is worth that. So you have to kind of work it out by the scenario. But something like landing pages, two weeks minimum. Don't stress, things can go wrong. So you need a minimum of a couple of weeks. And often or not, when I say when I sign clients, I do work for clients. It's like they tell me and I'm like, cool, I've started doing like 21 to 30 days. And like I wait for like two weeks in before I even start going at it because I know I can have it done in a couple of days. Uh, the, the main part of it. Right. Um, so it gives you a lot more time to relax, gives you more time to fulfill on the stuff you're currently doing. You're not like doing multiple projects and then you say oh shit i'm stuck into another project now um so that's my thought on that uh, it could be i would create a website that converts 3x higher than the current site six months or your money back so this implies it, it, it indicates that you're going to continue trying to optimize it for six months as well uh, which could be part of your offer but you'd want to charge a whole lot more money for that So the guarantee, what happens if you fail? How can you make this risk-free or charge based on results, which would be rev share or X amount per booked call? I'm really intrigued in the past few weeks about revenue share um, or X per booked call because say the a lot of lead gen guys, they do they get paid per booked call right they might get 50 or 100 bucks maybe even more depending on who they're working for uh, per booked call so if you're working with let's say let's say it's just a marketing agency right you're trying to get them leads um probably not a great example but uh, let's say it's a marketing agency you're trying to get them leads and they're average deal value is five thousand dollars per lead you can you can easily charge hundreds and hundreds like maybe even 500 to a thousand but if their average deal value was only five hundred dollars then 50 bucks is probably all you can charge per lead right so it's an interesting thing if and i don't know anyone that does this maybe there is but if you created a landing page let's say that the you, you get paid per booked call who knows if they have enough traffic if they have enough ads you could clean up money uh, it's an interesting angle to take it's not quite the revenue share but it's a paid per book call for a landing page that's an interesting offer for for you to think about and no matter what you do you can swing it that way if you create content Maybe you get paid X amount per book call still. Um, What's and the maybe... traffic zone? Yeah, say that again. Um, what, what amount of traffic, guys, would you consider when you want to do like a ref share deal like that? I wouldn't want them to have a, a few hundred followers on Twitter. <laughs> and I wouldn't 
So either they have like 10K plus followers on Twitter or else they, well, that, you know, depended, you kind of gauge it on their engagement and so on, but I would say around that or else they're just running ads, right? They're running ads to a product or service, so on. Um, Well, if it's a product, you'll end up doing a revenue share. But if it's a service and they're just looking to get booked calls, if they're running ads, I mean, yeah, why not? Uh, Once they're spending more than a couple of bucks a day on ads, of course. So you'd have to figure all that out. How much traffic is that? Are those ads going to bring? If it's thousands per day, like 10, 20, 50, 100K, yeah, 100%. Um, But again, if it's 100 per day, probably not worth your your while. Uh, So you have to kind of gauge that, but it's definitely an option I think some of you can look at to differentiate and be different. Uh, No matter what you can do, you can employ this or or, uh, implement this in some regard, uh, whether it be a revenue share or uh, get paid per lead. I think it's an interesting model. Very, very interesting model because there's so many people and I've seen it. There's there's people in here that have clients that have 30 to 100K followers and they cannot monetize. They're like, yeah, you're going, you're the one that's going to help them monetize. So why not take a cut of that? I think it could be more beneficial than just getting a couple of thousand bucks for a landing page or whatever it may be. Uh, you could potentially earn more money by doing a revenue share or booked per call or pay per call. So um, what happens if you fail? Yeah, how can you make this risk-free? Uh, so basically it is risk-free if you do that. Uh, if you want to charge straight up, like most people will, like say 2000 up front, then you need to try and make it risk-free for them uh, without... Now, I'll dive deeper on this, but you need to make sure you can fulfill. So when you're guaranteeing, oh, I'll double your revenue or I'll 2x your conversion rate, you need to vet them. You need to question them, not the other way around on that sales call. Because you can only get that result if they have a good offer, good social proof, uh, good traffic. That means ads. That means a heavy organic presence. Uh, you can only guarantee the results if it is something like that. Uh, so you need to think about that. And again, that brings back to this kind of sales calls thing. You need to be questioning people more than them questioning you. You're in charge, not them. So uh, do not promise what you can't deliver. Easy to sell, easy to deliver. That's the goal, right? Uh so 10, day, 10 leads in 10 days will be easy for someone running a lot of ads or someone that has a lot of followers. Uh, 10 leads in 10 days will be difficult no matter how good your landing page or funnel is if they don't run ads and don't have followers. So I've seen some people, uh, you know, where their client is like, oh, but sure, this isn't converting. This is it's just not working. But bro, you've, you've five people went through the funnel. It's just... You need volume. You always need a big net, in my opinion. Now, to a certain extent, you can have quality, absolutely, uh, but you can't have 10 followers and expect to, to live off it at the same time, you know. Um, so, uh, random thought. Uh, this is more for Federico. Uh, so he's the thumbnails guy. But can you create thumbnails to get a 10% click rate? Advertise this as an offer. Okay. Uh, so hopefully he watches this and sees that. <laughs> We promise five book calls in five days or we pay you a thousand dollars. When I was doing the research for for when creating this doc, this was something that came up. It was a guy, uh, a very rich man at that. This was his offer. Uh, we promise you five booked calls in five days or we pay you a thousand dollars. Super interesting, right? They, that automatically puts them working with high ticket clients, but they need to qualify them. Um. so like because someone not selling something for 50 bucks even if they get five football calls and close the five calls they still can't make a thousand dollars so it's like to them they could scan their way out of a thousand dollars right or to get that thousand uh, dollars so yeah this will bring you to a higher ticket clientele 
uh, reduce pain and work they have to do to achieve that desired outcome. So this is something I always do on sales calls. And it was more so at the beginning when I didn't have as much experience. Uh, when I when I was competent building say a landing page on card, they'd ask me, oh, can you do the copywriting too? I say, in my head, I was like, ah, oh, shit. But I, yes, of course I can. It's all inclusive. Confidence. Game face. All right. Uh, unless it's something crazy like ads and it's genuinely going to be like way too much hassle. You judge that yourself. But if it's like design or uh, different aspects they want integrated to to the to whatever you're offering, um, or copywriting, just do it. Just accept it. You'll figure it out. There's a good enough network in here to figure it out as well, right? Uh, so it's important to do so. Um, so make the offer so good that you don't need a long landing page detailing everything possible. This is a point that was made again when I was researching and it's something I found interesting. This guy was saying that when he made that no brainer offer and it was this, it was this, this was the offer, right? When he created this, he said, he didn't need as many sales people. He fired sales people on his team. He had a big team, right? But he fired sales people because they just weren't needed. They were sold literally because of this. People coming to him. He also got rid of his VSL, his video sales letter. It just wasn't needed anymore. The offer was that key highlight thing, right? Um, and he was just able to have a short page of sales copy. That was it with the offer and he said they made more money than ever um, so having a no-brainer offer is important but you need to be able to guarantee it because you're going to have a whole lot of refunds otherwise uh, and that's that it's not worth being in the business for refunds right um, so to me a, a truly a oh an offer truly becomes irresistible due to what you can offer you can offer a landing page or a content creation uh, but can you build a VSL or nurture the leads? So to this, this is skill stacking. And this comes over time. Uh, your offer becomes, and it was a video I was watching of Russell Brunson. And uh, he said he has an iPhone, the same as everyone else in the crowd, right? And he said, will anyone here buy it for 600 bucks? Everyone raised their hands. But will anyone here buy it for a thousand? No. No, why would you? It's the same as everyone else's phone. But he said, now, what if I told you I have X, Y, and Z in the contacts list. I'm logged into my social medias. You, My bank account is on this. People were, he was like 20 grand. Hands stay up. 50 grand. 100 grand. It went to, it went to a half a million people now were willing to pay for the phone. Six people willing to write a check for half a million for that phone. So what I'm kind of getting at there is what can you offer that's unique or what additional can you offer uh, that's not just content creation, that's not just a landing page, that's not just a thumbnail, okay? You can, and this isn't going to come straight away, right? Especially if you're at the beginning of your journey. But... Always learn something else on the side. You'll always have a little bit of time on the side unless you're just drowned in clients, which is still a good thing, right? Uh, so you'll always have a little bit of time to, to, you know, gather your skills, increase your skills, your skill set. And this alone makes your offer 10 times better. If they can go to one person, that'll do essentially like an insane funnel, right? The, fun uh, the top of the range funnel is the peak of any uh, service because you can do any design, you can do copywriting, you can do emails, you can do build a landing page, you can build an opt-in page, build a sales letter. Uh, you can even do the content maybe to bring leads in. You know, there. if you've all of that in your service, you're better than 99.999% of people. 
and your offer is also worth 10 times as much. Um, so offer gets better the more that you can offer, but it has to be seamless at the same time. You can't say in the headline, we offer X, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, like have a list of 10 things, right? We offer a full sales system for your business. That's obviously not a great line, but you, you can get the point. Um, so definitely continue learning different things on the site. Uh, I'm still doing it and it can, it'll better everything. Right. So I then these are just a few lines to kind of read off. Identify your target audience, focus on value, offer a compelling incentive, create urgency, use persuasive language, provide a guarantee or risk reversal, uh, leverage social proof. These, all these things come into your offer. It's not just, uh, I will get you 10 leads in 10 days or I pay you a thousand dollars. Your offer is everything, everything on your page. So optimize your pricing, uh, provide exceptional customer service. This is something that's very important. I don't think people uh, consider this enough. And obviously you have to get to the point where you have clients and so on for even a longer period of time. But if you treat a client, especially at the beginning of your journey, if you treat them better uh, than they could ever imagine or ever expect, it will pay you back twofold, genuinely. It's very important to do so. So one problem with the marketplace is everyone's guaranteeing more and more, making claims more outrageous, which reduces trust with your prospects. And this is my thought process on all of this because, again, uh, five leads in five days or I'll pay you $1,000. That's that's insane, right? They have to truly qualify people to a good extent before they'll ever work with them. And I guarantee they're charging thousands and thousands. Right. So to overcome this, you need to become the authority or the go to person for that specific thing. Similar to what I was talking about, start to become that person. So uh, do, do, do. Luke did this with automation. The most he promised was that you'd save 10 hours a week, which is quite easy for him to do. But nobody asked him about that headline because they knew he could execute uh, whatever automations he was providing. And for Luke, he never specified what automations he offers in his landing page. Never once. It's just it's just the Zapier whiz. That's all. Just the automations wizard. So it kind of made him made people think, oh, he can do anything. What what can what can he even do? Can he do this? If you think of it, he can probably figure it out and do it. Right. So I want you to be kind of this way as well. Uh, in the specific Expert with the specific expert expertise that you have. Um, the people who are relying on your guarantee are those who expect you to fix their whole business and tend to be the worst clients. This is again people that and I again people that are they're haggling with you for prices. Uh trust me, the people that pay you more, they'll be like, Cool, send the invoice, done. And that's it and you, you've a relaxed time fulfilling, they let you do the job. They don't micromanage you. <clears throat> so the higher ticket clients are actually the better ones. Um, now you don't ideally want to be doing 50-50 splits and all this. Just, just pay up front. They're the best people you can work with. Um, so, yes, have a great headline showcasing benefits outcomes generated from your service but don't come up with ridiculous claims that you cannot deliver on because if you do if you say i guarantee to double your revenue in 30 days you can't do that you're just gonna have to refund every single time it's just not gonna work and at the end of it if you don't refund you just end up being a scammer that's that's literally it and you do not want that that'll be a short-lived life um so be very very genuine in everything you do uh so we're all using Twitter to drive traffic to our services. The best thing you can do is have insanely good content, show competence, and then have a headline that resonates with that business owner. And they want to receive said benefits or outcomes that you have in your so-called offer. As a business owner, 
there's zero shot they're believing you can guarantee 90k in 90 days uh, this is so true um if you can tell me you can get me 10k from where my business at an extra 10k in 90 days that that's sound, that's kind of realistic uh sounds interesting it's something i would be interested in if you're saying you can get me and i've seen it because I, and i've had people in the dms saying you can they can generate me 75k in 30 days and 150k mm. sorry joseph you're good yeah um it it's just you can't it's just not possible i don't have the lead flow for it to do 150k so how can you guarantee this from me on your unless you're going to pay for my ads unless you're going to pay 50k or 100k for my ads and fair enough but then you need to charge me probably 200k for the service for you to profit so it's just it's just not realistic right uh because they'll immediately think i don't have lead flow for that my deal size is too small we don't run any run any ads etc cetera, etc cetera. exactly what i said so stick to showcasing clear and concise content that displays to the business owner that you are the expert to help their business again at the end of the day this is the most important thing so you got a sneak peek here into a call that i did with my students inside my program honestly it's it's a pleasure to do these calls it's fantastic the topics we go over the, the conversations we have everything really really important to have and actually progress and learn on our journey so this was a nice sneak peek for you over a certain topic um uh, and that offer that we went through uh, a, a small while back okay if this interests you, if you want to actually get onto these calls live, ask me questions, go through different topics and see a ton of these because I'm only going to put out a small fraction to, to give you an idea of what it's like. Click the link below. Let's get started below. Have a conversation with me. We can see if you're a good fit for the program and move forward from there. Talk soon. Subscribe as well. It would mean the world to me. Appreciate you. Take care.